Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace. The day before yesterday, I opened up and watched a DVD in my collection, UHF. So it is no longer sealed. UHF starring Weird Al Yankovic and Kevin McCarthy in a rare leading role for this period in its life. Michael Richards, David Bowe, Victoria Jackson, and Billy Barty. Now, before I get to the film and the extras, because there are some extras, I'll show you the inside, which is a rather uh, bleak looking affair. There's no artwork, there's no chapter index, nothing. And as you can see, there is no artwork on the disc, which is easily explained by the fact that it's a two-sided disc. They put the widescreen transfer on one side and the so-called full screen uh, standard frame 4x3 aspect ratio transfer on the other. And normally I wouldn't bother with that, except MGM went and did something I don't like. They split up the extras. They put half of them on one side and half of them on the other. So that meant I had to go and watch the other side. Okay, should I read the back of the case? Why not? Weird Al Yankovic, Kevin McCarthy, Interspace, Michael Richards, Seinfeld, David Bowe, the cable guy. Don't you just love how they added parentheses, what else they've been in? You know, because you've probably never heard of these people. That's their assumption. Victoria Jackson, Saturday Night Live, and Fran Drescher, the nanny, star in this inspired comedy about an offbeat guy who turns a deadbeat TV station into a raging success. Broadcasting Weird Al's unique brand of humor, UHF, is a place where you'll visit, you'll want to visit with increasing frequency. Haha. -ha. George Newman, Weird Al, is a daydreamer whose hyperactive imagination keeps him from holding a steady job until his uncle hires him to manage Channel 62, a station that's losing money and viewers fast. But when George replaces the station's reruns with bizarre programs like Wheel of Fish and Raoul's Wild Kingdom, where poodles fly from third-story windows, ratings begin to soar. Can George find the money he needs to stay on the air? Stay tuned. Okay. Now, my assessment of this film is that it's funny. And it's especially so if you like Weird Al Yankovic's brand of humor, and who doesn't? Uh, the film has a basic plot, which I just read, but intermixed within the plot are spoofs, fake television commercials, and uh, the like. Now, my favorite spoof of the spoofs is the one on, um, well, it's called Conan the Librarian. And I'm not going to give any else, anything else away about that. But there is also, there are also spoofs of Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's Weird Al trying to get an Oscar there and Rambo and that's the character played by Michael Richards and Michael Richards pretty much steals this film when he's on screen. He plays a janitor at Channel 62 who's given his own show and the ratings on that show skyrocket. Now as for the extras there are deleted scenes behind-the-scenes footage, um, promotional materials, Easter eggs, production stills, and the music video for UHF. But there is also a commentary track with Weird Al Yankovic, director Jay Levy, Fran Drescher, Victoria Jackson, and Emo Phillips. Now Emo Phillips and Victoria Jackson and Michael Richards aren't in there very much. In fact, Michael Richards comes and goes twice during the, the course of the commentary track. 
Victoria Jackson, they call sometime near the end on the phone and talk to her briefly. And I can't remember how Emo Phillips got involved. But Weird Al and director uh, Jay Levy are in the whole commentary track. And there's a wealth of information in the commentary track. For one thing, the t film's title, UHF. The UHF holds no significance, apparently, in other countries. And it's, it holds an ever-decreasing uh, importance here. UHF stands for Ultra High Frequency, and it's for any TV station over, the, over channel 13. And traditionally, what would happen is the VHF stations, very high frequency, would get the network affiliates first, and then the UHF stations were left to fend for themselves with reruns and what have you, which this film exploits. But Orion Pictures demanded that the film's title be changed for foreign release because of the fact that UHF is a meaningless uh, term over there. I think they said that it was called the Vidiots. At any rate, they also mentioned that, um, and this is, this is sad, the actor who plays Raul, who was training the poodles to fly by tossing them out of his third story apartment window, was hit and killed by a hit and run driver before all of his scenes were shot. And there was supposed to be a retributive scene near the end of the film where the poodles exact their revenge on Raul. But sadly, since he had been killed, those scenes were not filmed and therefore not in the film. Now, there's a ton of information in, in the commentary track like that that I do not know. Another one, for example, Gandhi 2, that segment. Gandhi is played by the film's director, Jay Levy. I did not know that until listening to, listening to the commentary track. So that was pretty cool. And what they do during the closing credits, or what Weird Al does during the closing credits, is hilarious. He reads all of the film's negative reviews that it got over the closing credits. And it's just hilarious. Now, Orion made a big goof when they released UHF, when they did. Again, this is from the commentary track. Because they had test screened it, and it was through the roof. It had the highest test scores of any film they had tested. This is according to the commentary track. So, in their infinite wisdom, they decided to put it up against all of the summer blockbusters that year. The year of 89. One of them being an Indiana Jones film, but I don't remember which one. Anyway, they list every single film this film went up against. And the list of A, A titles that this film went up against upon initial releases is staggering. So it's not surprising that it only played for two weeks. Again, according to the commentary track. How MGM wound up with the rights to this, I don't know, except rights to film libraries bounces all over the place all the time. Anyway, highly recommend UHF. There is a soundtrack CD out there. And I have it somewhere, and I was going to show it, but I couldn't find it. And so I figured what, what I can do is play one of the tracks from it on, I mean, off my computer, because I have all of my uh, CDs ripped into the computer. But that album is not ripped into the computer, so I don't know where it is. But it obviously disappeared before I got to where I was ripping CDs. Anyway. Until next time, stay awesome.